I can't even begin to describe how pumped the entire crew at Dirt Tracks TV is having won the What Would You Do to a Maverick contest. But the simple truth of the matter is that we never could have won without the help of a large number of people and companies who assisted us in a number of ways. So as we accept this honour, we would like to recognise those who helped make it happen, starting with the most enthusiastic and loyal group of people on the planet, fans of Dirt Tracks TV. It was your dedication to voting day after day, sharing our posts and spreading the word to everyone you knew that helped us reach over 850,000 people, securing our win. Of course, it would have been impossible to win this contest if it weren't for Can-Am coming up with it in the first place. So we'd like to say a big thank you for giving us this opportunity to build a unique Maverick XDS Turbo and share it with our fans worldwide. Of course, at the end of the day, this vehicle was built and parts were supplied by our dedicated team and partners within the industry. There's no doubt though, the biggest thank you has to go out to Marcus from Willie's Acres. It was his expertise in design and fabrication that took the Black Devil Maverick from concept to reality. Mike from Terratech helped out in a big way as well with the design and direction of the build from the very start. PRP supplied us with the seats and harnesses, UTV Inc. stepped up with the intrusion bar, bumper, winch mount, and GPS dash mount. Of course, Can-Am came to the party with roof, doors, rock sliders, and A-arm guards. And no Dirt Tracks build will be complete without ITP tires and wheels and a worn winch, and both of these companies were happy to chip in their coolest products. Finally, Lowrance got us on the right path with an Elite 5M military grade GPS unit and Rigid lit the way with a 40 inch curved RDS light bar. Finally, Scepter kept us rolling with a pair of their fuel cans. To all of you who helped with time, expertise or product, thank you. When we first started this build, we knew the competition would be fierce and we were right. Each of the media outlets that submitted a build for the What Would You Do to a Maverick contest brought something unique and different. Congratulations to each one of them for unique projects and thanks for keeping this competition fun. As everybody already knows, the Black Devil Maverick was built to not just be the coolest Maverick ever, but also in memory of World War II's first special service force, the Black Devils and to pay tribute to all the Canadian and American men and women who gave it all to defend the rights and freedoms we often take for granted. So we decided to use this victory to help soldiers and their families by donating $1,500 to the Military Families Fund in Canada and $1,500 to the Fisher House Foundation in the US. We'd like to encourage anyone who wants to help support the families of our veterans or our military personnel to make a small donation to either one of these charities or another of your choice. For anyone wondering what will happen to the Black Devil Maverick now that the contest is over, have no fear. The Black Devil will be appearing at events and in Can-Am dealerships for the next year. We hope it will continue to generate support for our troops and veterans. Stay tuned to the Dirt Tracks website and Facebook page to find out if the Black Devil Maverick will be making a stop somewhere near you.